Hi, and welcome back to the channel. It's true, my name is Norf, and you'll be familiar with the old adage, you get what you pay for. So I'm curious, if I gave you 40 quid, or the equivalent in your currency where you live, what would you buy? It, would it be a Bluetooth speaker, a squeaky balloon dog, a mini food processor, or two pairs of Darth Vader slippers, a pair now and a pair for later? Prices were correct and accurate at the time of recording this video. However, if you did have 40 quid and you were in the market to get a new dynamic microphone, the name Fine Fine should spring to mind. Why, I hear you ask? Well, as is customary on the channel, strap yourselves in and let's find out. You may know I'm a massive fan of microphones, and when the team at Fine Fine reached out to ask me to review their K669 dynamic microphone, of course I jumped at the chance. Then I jumped onto my favourite online retailer to check out the price and a few other things, and I was astonished to find out it was just 40 quid. Hence my question to you, can 40 quid make you sound great? Well, before we get into that, a huge thank you to the team at Fine Fine for sending me out the K669D for me to review. I'm under no obligation to say what Fine Fine want me to say, and as you've come to expect from me, you'll hear candid, unbiased comments from a Brit. I'd obviously like to say that we're getting a really good deal from the team at Fine Fine, who have been in the value tier microphone business since 2009. However, I want you to be the judge of that. So find a quiet spot, plug in some headphones, as I want to cut to the chase and share how this microphone sounds straight off the bat. And then we'll compare it with a few other of my go-to microphones. We'll come to the other important bits a little bit later. None of my usual post-processing will come into the fore, just the raw sound output from this microphone. I'll of course put chapter markers in so you can jump back and forth to ensure you've had a really good listen. Plus, I'll leave links in the description to everything that I've used in this video. Okay? Ready? Hi, and welcome back to the channel. It's true, my name is North, and this week we're testing microphones. This is the Fine Fine K669D dynamic microphone. Hi, and welcome back to the channel. It's true, my name is North, and this week we're testing microphones. This is the Fine Fine K688 using the XLR output. Hi, and welcome back to the channel. It's true, my name is North, and this week we're testing microphones. This is my usual go-to microphone, the Audio-Technica AT2020 USB. Hi, and welcome back to the channel. It's true, my name is North, and this week we're testing microphones. This is my usual off-camera go-to microphone. It's the Deity V-Mic D3 Pro. And now, back to the place we started from. Hi, and welcome back to the channel. It's true, my name is North, and this week we're testing microphones. This is the Fine Fine K669D dynamic microphone. Yes, granted, that was a super unfair comparison, as the Fine Fine K669D and the K688 are both dynamic microphones. However, the AT2020 USB and the VMic D3 Pro are condenser mics, which are inherently more sensitive. So, yeah, North, no fair. That said, let me know in the comments which microphone you prefer. The beauty of a dynamic microphone is that they're great for picking up loud sounds like drums or electric guitars, for example. So if you're looking to use a mic for both instrument recording and for voice, you may opt for the versatility of the Fine Fine K669D, which at the price point could be a winner for you. And speaking of price point, if you were to part with 40 quid, what would you get? It feels like Fine Fine has taken the minimalist approach for the K669D. The packaging looks and feels akin to other microphones in their range, examples like the K678 or the K690. On the outside of the box are only a few references to the attributes of the K669D. In the box, Fine Fine only supply three items, a double-sided concertina user guide, the K669D with mounting brackets already attached, and the metal tripod mic stand. Everything feels of good quality and is robust. As for mounting options, usually you'd find the 5 8 to 3 8 adapter in the box that you need to keep an eye on or it will get lost. 
Fine Fine have changed the game here by integrating the adapter screw with a built-in 3 8 to 5 8 thread. To be clear, this is the Fine Fine K669D and shouldn't be confused with the two other microphones in the K669 lineup, the K669B and the K669C. The K669B is the USB condenser cardioid microphone, hence B, as in USB. The K669C is the cardioid condenser XLR microphone, whilst this, the one that we're testing this week, is the K669D, D standing for dynamic XLR. Checking out the specs, the K669D is a cardioid polar pan, meaning it will pick up everything in front of the microphone and reject at the side and at the rear of the microphone. The frequency response is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, so that should be good enough for anything that you want to record, particularly instruments, and it has a signal to noise ratio of 78 dB. The build quality, as I said, feels good, and it comes in at a weight of 640 grams, or just over 1.4 pounds. Design-wise, I say that Fine Fine have been inspired by that of the Audio Technica AT2020 series. However, both microphones have a different address profile. The Fine Fine K669D is a top address microphone, whereas the AT2020 series is a side address microphone. If you've been following the channel for any time, you may notice that I prefer to have a microphone that's out of shot. That's just a personal preference. However, given that we're putting the Fine Fine K669D through its paces, I've created this video a little bit differently. You're also in my familiar, partially acoustically treated 6x6 box I playfully refer to as Tight Spot Studios. Now let's get to the elephant in the room. As I said, this microphone where I live is 40 quid or a very similar price in the currency where you are. However, there are some other things that you need to consider if you're looking to pick up this microphone and to get it to work. Removing the boom arm from the equation, you'll need an XLR cable and you'll need an audio interface. I'm using the WBC 3 meter XLR cable and the Universal Audio Volt 2 audio interface. Be sure that you factored in these two elements as well as your 40 quid for the Fine Fine K669D. If you already have an XLR cable and an audio interface, you could be in for a bit of a bargain. If you're looking to up your microphone game, I would seriously consider this microphone. For me, I think this microphone sounds really good and well balanced and makes me sound like a YouTuber in Tight Spot Studios. If I was looking at picking up a microphone, a brand new dynamic microphone for that matter, for the price of 40 quid, I would seriously consider the Fine Fine K669D. Actually, to be fair, I'd probably look at two of them. That said, I'm keen to hear what you think about the performance of the Fine Fine K669D on my voice. Actually, which of the samples did you prefer? A. Hi, and welcome back to the channel, it's true, my name is North. B. Hi, and welcome back to the channel, it's true, my name is North. C. Hi, and welcome back to the channel, it's true, my name is North. Or D. Hi, and welcome back to the channel, it's true, my name is North. Let me know in the comments. And whilst you're there, you may know that I'm a big fan of the number three. So if you would, please do three things for me. If you like the content, please do give me a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not yet subscribed and hit the bell notifications so you don't miss out on future reviews and brand new content. Again, thank you for choosing to spend your time here and you may be interested to check out one of these videos next, which I think you'll enjoy. I'll see you next time.